Hey folks, this is Don Perkins with another quick and dirty review. Today we're looking at the uh, the critical hit D20 LED die made by ThinkGeek. I got this off of Amazon uh, back in May for about $8.88 uh, with Amazon Prime uh, free shipping. It's actually gone down. Today is June 19th, 2014, and I'm seeing it for under eight bucks. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this die. Uh, one is, it's, uh, well, what makes this die unique is besides its size, it's about a 38 millimeter die. You know, if we bring it in here, so you can see pretty big, big, big across. Uh, has a decent weight to it, a uh, little light for something its size, and, but that's because it's got electronics in it. What, electronics, yes. When you roll the critical, it lights up and uh, lets you know that you've hit that 20. Uh, it doesn't do it for any other number. All the other numbers will roll normal, but every time that 20 comes up on top, it will light up and flash and uh, celebrate uh, your critical hit, or the critical hit of the monster, as the case may be. Uh, it only, it'll flash for about 10 seconds to stop. If you've got a dice bag and it's sitting face up like this, it will start flashing in the bag. If you just ensure that it's got another face uh, upright, you won't be wearing the battery down. Let's talk about some pros about this dice. One is it rolls really well. Uh, as far as I can tell, it is a fair die. And I know Think Geek is claiming that it's, that it's a perfectly fair die, even though you saw me roll a 14 twice there. Um, I rolled it quite, <laughs> 12 twice, oddly enough. I rolled it a lot. It seems to be fair from what I can tell. I'm not seeing any, any kind of a real bias. Um, but we're running, running all high numbers as I roll now. Earlier I was getting a lot of uh, ones and sixes. Yeah, there's a two, another 15. Anyway, it does roll, it rolls, as far as I can tell, rolls fair. I really like the fact that this die has sharp edges. Um, you may have seen some of my other reviews. I'm a big fan of game science dice, which you really can't get anymore. Um, and hopefully they'll be manufacturing again as soon as the new manufacturer takes over. But game science die have these sharp edges and, rather than rounded edges. Sharp edges are nice because they cause the die to stop. Um, it'll roll and as soon as it's settled, it stops. And you don't get a lot of vibration. So I really like the sharp corners on it. I like the big size. It feels good in my hands. Uh, the weight is decent. It feels like it should be heavier for its size, but I can't complain about the weight of it. Um, cons. A uh, few, few cons. You cannot change the battery in this. If one, once the battery dies, that's it. The reason why is that this die was sealed uh, using ultrasonic welding. And a lot of people laugh at ultrasonic welding and think it's a joke. No, it's a real thing. It's used with plastics, for welding plastics, uh, without using heat. And the reason why ultrasonic welding is used is because when you use heat welding, it tends to affect the plastic all around it and causes it to deform when they use ultrasonic welding, they can actually pin, pinpoint a very small area with, with the ultrasonic uh, welder and it's really good for annealing plastics together and very permanently and in a way that you can't tell where the actual weld is. So this is ultrasonically welded, which means you're going to have to break the die in order to get in at it and change the battery and at that point it's not worth changing the battery because now the die is broken. Um, but it would still be useful after that. The other con with this die is uh, apparently some GMs don't believe this to be a fair die and as a result they will not allow it to be used uh, you know, in a game. So it's one of those things you need to check before you bring it out and say, ha ha, look what I got, isn't this cool? You really need to, to clear it with your GM first to make sure that, that they're going to accept a die that has electronics in it. Um, it's cool. It's about, uh, as it stands right now with uh, Amazon Prime shipping it, uh, you know, if you've got Prime uh, with them shipping it, uh, two-day shipping for, nothing, for no cost, uh, at just under $8, it's still a pretty expensive die for a 38 millimeter die, uh, D20. Uh, typical D20s that you're getting that are that form factor are between about a buck and a half and three dollars. So you're, you're paying a premium to get this thing that lights up. But it does have those sharp edges, which is not typical of uh, most, most D20s in this form factor. So there's an advantage there. Uh, would I recommend it? 
I do because I like the sharp edges, but be aware that the novelty factor wears off pretty quickly. You can't redo the bat, you know, replace the battery. You'll have to buy a new die if you want to get the flashing effect uh, back. But aside from those cons, it's a nice die. It rolls well, it feels good, it has sharp edges, stops nicely. Um, so I'm going to recommend, be aware though, it is going to be a pricey novelty item. Um, it has use beyond the novelty, but uh, you know, you are really paying for that novelty factor you know, in the price. You're paying about four times the cost of a, t of a typical die of its, of its size and dimensions. So. Uh, there you have it. That's my review for the Think Geek D20 LED critical hit die. Uh, be sure to leave comments if you have them and uh, Don out.